Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Tech Control. After decades of research, speculation, and classified developments, the US has officially confirmed what many have long suspected. Supersonic fighter jets are not just concepts, they are real, operational, and ready to redefine air combat. This groundbreaking announcement marks a new era in military aviation, where speed, agility, and cutting-edge technology converge to create the most advanced warplanes ever built. With global tensions rising and adversaries racing to develop their own next-generation aircraft, the U.S. has once again cemented its dominance in the skies. But what does this mean for the future of air warfare? Let's dive into the details. Finally, United States has declared supersonic fighter jets are real. The Lockheed Martin SR-72 Darkstar, colloquially referred to as Son of Blackbird, is an American hypersonic concept intended for intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance (ISR), proposed privately in 2013 by Lockheed Martin as a successor to the retired Lockheed SR-72 Darkstar. In 2018, company executives said an SR-72 test vehicle could fly by 2025 and enter service in the 2030s. The materials for the aircraft's construction demonstrate more than a one-generational advancement in this area of aircraft design and construction. Twin requirements include being stealthy and still surviving the intense heat of the aircraft's surface when traveling at max 3 or greater speeds. To accomplish this feat, the aircraft is supposedly constructed of titanium and high heat and load-bearing areas to handle the stress. How the SR-72 compares to global competitors while the U.S. is leading the race in hypersonic aviation, other nations are not far behind. China has been actively testing hypersonic weapons and aircraft concepts, with some reports suggesting they are also developing their own hypersonic reconnaissance platforms. Russia, too, has invested heavily in hypersonic technology, deploying the Avangard hypersonic glide vehicle and testing new air-launched hypersonic weapons. The introduction of the SR-72 would not only maintain U.S. dominance in high-speed reconnaissance, but also send a strategic message to adversaries that hypersonic flight is no longer theoretical, it's a reality. With the ability to operate in areas with tight air defenses, this aircraft can pave the way for further military operations, including airstrikes or strategic intelligence missions. Sorry, this isn't Top Gun. Maverick SR-72. It is not anything at all like the Dark Star vehicle seen in the Top Gun, Maverick film. A Max 10 vehicle of that configuration is more sci-fi than something that could be developed in the present day to begin with. The other reality is that the United States Air Force, USAF, would never let the US Navy run a program of these dimensions. Hypersonic vehicle designs are clearly the territory of the USAF. Many of the details of the SR-72 Son of Blackbird program as it is being called, are classified. What is known is that the program was initially proposed by Lockheed Martin in 2013 and is currently being developed at the APD. Its maximum speed is more on the order of Mach 6.0. That's roughly 4600 mm for almost double the speed rating for the SR-71. Lockheed Martin have been collaborating with Aerojet Rocketdyne since 2006 to develop an appropriate engine. After the 2008 cancellation of the HTV-3X, the company used its scramjet technology for the SR-72 engine. The SR-72 was envisioned to have an air-breathing propulsion system that could handle subsonic, transonic, supersonic, and hypersonic speeds. But turbojet engines can work at zero speed and usually perform best up to Mach 2.2. Branchets, using aerodynamic compression with subsonic combustion, perform poorly below Mach 0.5 are most efficient around Mach 3 and can go up to around Mach 6.